I guess I really don't know what Christmas is all about. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is our girl Misha Wang and in today's video I'm going to show you how I transformed this old wig to looking brand new. Scalp baby, scalp baby, scalp, scalp, scalp baby. Alright, this is how the wig is looking. Uh, I need to do some plucking on the edges of this wig. When I had first installed it, I didn't really do much plucking because sometimes I get lazy and just don't want to be bothered with plucking but as you could see, the hair was all the way to the edge of the wig cap and when that happens then you know you need to do some plucking all right guys i've gone ahead and added um put my wig cap on it does have some foundation in it to kind of blend in with my scalp or my skin tone so i use foundation that looks like my skin tone on the cap so that the wig it blends well with my scalp all right so it looks it's looking like scalp if you get what i'm saying all right uh so that's what i did there i'm gonna go ahead with my ghost bond glue because if you I'd, i'm not sure if you've watched my previous video and i was saying that my bold hold that glue it kind of irritates my my hairline so i stopped using it and i've gone ahead to using the ghost bond glue all right, so I'm not using the ball cap method. I am just applying, the, putting the wig cap on and go ahead with my glue. All right, so I'm just drying the glue on cool heat. Now, stick up in. I want to say something. Yesterday I was on YouTube and I, watch, um, and I was watching one of my favorite YouTubers, hairstylist, Slade by Jordan, and he was saying that he uses four layers of glue. He goes, at, well, yeah, that's how the, the hair is looking like scalp so it blends in with my hand that's what i was testing right there when i showed you but back to slade by jordan he used four layers of glue and he did them like one after the other no i go ahead and i apply all my glue at the one time and i allow it to dry at the one time no i think his method makes sense but my method makes sense as well because uh the only thing that you need to ensure is that when you apply the glue that's if you want to use my method is that the glue it it is you spread it evenly and you spread it flat across your hairline like i don't want to wait so long like for one layer to dry and then go ahead and no <laughs> i do everything i want all right so that was just one thing i wanted for you guys to know right there but i'm gonna i'm continuing with my install the glue is dry enough for me to go ahead with my install and i'm fitting it on my head right now all right so i am gonna go ahead with the fitting process <laughs> i'm gonna go ahead and fit it on my hair and i'm gonna go ahead to style in the wig all right now guys please note that this is a body wave unit and i i didn't like the way the body wave curls were looking on the wig so i wanted to revamp the hair i wanted to give it a different look i i think the ends they were a little bit too thin and so i was gonna cut it to give it a little bit more body but if you continue watching to the end of the video then you will see what i did in the end all right so um after laying my wig i realized that there were some parts of the wig that was lifting up and that's when i added the glue to those small areas and went ahead with laying the wig all right so after laying it i just go ahead and i tie my stocking cap around the the base the hairline of the wig all right so guys if you have elastic that would be the best thing to use but my elastic it just wasn't on hand at the moment and so i used the the stocking cap all right so i decided i'm gonna straighten the hair and that's what i did so i'm straightening the hair right now guys kindly note that this is 28 inches it was body wave but it's now straight 28 inches of bone straight hair like you do not want to miss this ending all right trust me you do not 
and if you're all the way to this part of the video like why aren't you subscribed why aren't you subscribed go ahead and click that subscribe button as well as that like button ping <laughs> so guys i'm gonna go ahead straighten in the hair and continue styling it, it I'm, I'm not gonna lie after i straightened the hair it was like one two three very easy it didn't give me much trouble to style it making baby hairs not much trouble you just want to work on getting the hair looking baby I mean bone straight all right because remember it was a curly hair so I had to go over those those areas that are straightened more than once more than twice even sometimes more than three times because you do not want to see like I said that clump right there yeah you don't want to see that so I went over the hair like three times two times so as to get the hair bone bone straight so that's all i'm doing so keep on watching until i'm at the styling of the video i might pop back in but uh, everything from here is self-explanatory so keep on watching where am i going like um i'm almost at the end now but keep on watching guys in the hair and I'm going in with my hot comb and my wax stick guys just look at that isn't that just looking all also natural guys let me tell you something about the hair you see somebody see me and they were like no this look like natural natural hair shall I feel it like this here it is looking like natural scalp coming from my scalp baby all right so those little white patches I am gonna fix them with my uh, foundation powder foundation I'm gonna go ahead with my baby hair right now and complete styling of the hair. All right, guys, so I'm at the end of this video. This is how the hair turned out. Uh, I'm absolutely loving it. I really, really do love it. As I said before, when I did the initial review of this hair, I love the honey blonde look on me. And this install is like the wig is brand new again. So guys, when you have your old wig or your wigs that you've worn before, don't feel discouraged. You can always reinstall them, all right? I did, this is a deep wave here, and I did straighten it because I was thinking I was gonna cut it. I was thinking the ends were a little bit too thin. So I was gonna cut it to about here, but when I did straighten it, it looks all right. So I decided I'm gonna let it stay like that. I was also gonna put some curls on the ends, but that's for another time. Uh, I'm loving how it look, how it's looking right now, especially with my baby hairs and all. Yeah, 
and run my fingers through it everything so guys don't forget to like comment share and subscribe to your girl for more videos like this one thank you so much for your support go ahead and share this video with persons who you think would want to see how we get into the video all right i'll also be doing a vlog right now i'm also in vlogmas i'm also doing vlogmas uh this is my second christmas on youtube so i'm thinking i want to do vlogmas this year so i'm going to be vlogging my day today so look out for that video i am going to be directing you to my initial installation of this wig so you can see how it looks initially before anything is done to it at all all right so go ahead and click on that end screen video with my yellow yellow here review video for to see that installation all right guys thank you so much for your support again